everybody, it's Kitty Sims Gamer, and I am here on Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. So, here's something exciting for you. It is winter now. So, as you can see, it's all cold. I need to find a way to get myself a winter jacket. But, yeah, I have been working very, very hard. Um... On the farm, as you can see, I've been moving stuff around. So, um, I decided to put these things, all of these right here. So, that's what they're going to do. I'm going to be taking these trees down. And... Um, Gonna sit here and harvest what I can. So I gotta figure out, you know, so I'm gonna have stuff right here. This is gonna be flowers. I drain this down, it'll fill back up again. And this was supposed to be grass. And then this is the other uh, section that I have. So this is where I'm going to do like mayonnaise and all of that good stuff. So we will go up here. Let's see what we have. So uh, the, I got the silo done, so now we have to work on this. But before I can work on this building, I need to upgrade um, my tools because it is really, really hard to cut those trees. And then I got to figure out what all am I putting here. So I got to figure all of this out. Well, one step at a time. And I can't go over there. So we got a sheep right there, but unfortunately I need to upgrade before I can... Uh, Move any more animals in. So we will go ahead and get this rock salt. Alrighty, um, I gotta move my keyboard for a minute. My cat jumped up here and I did not want her hitting my keyboard. So she probably just wants to get comfy. So we'll let her do that. Okay, so I have to move. Alrighty. So we'll wait and see what she's going to do too. But anyhow, I'm going to come up here. Alright, so we will go ahead and check on our farm animals. Oh, that's nice. So you got to make sure you pet them all so they, they know that you love them. Ooh, 
There we go. And then we will go check on the chickens. Tamara is such a sweetheart. I am so glad I have her. All right, here's the eggs. And, oh, another thing I have added, as you can see, I've added these metal bins here, and you can insert phyllo from the side. You can insert fodder from the silo or from the uh, silage there. So that will just continuously feed them. I have them here in the hen house. And I also have them uh, where the cows and that are in the barn. So, oh, there's something else. So as you can see, my farm is coming along. So let's see if there's anything new for me to make. I have to put all that stuff away, though. So these are all the things I can make so far. A cloth maker. Jeez, I don't know if I have a cloth maker or not. I have to do a jewel maker. So I have most of these. So I guess maybe I can start uh, putting some things together. Okay, we will go ahead and put all of these flowers away. Then we'll come over to here, see if I have anything. I'll put this in there. Okay, that's it for that. But I guess it wouldn't hurt if I start um, seeing what it's uh, going to take, you know, to start making stuff. I will put all of this away. All right. I've donated some stuff to the museum too, which is, I'll show that to you guys in another video. Oh, there's another flower. I remember I saw in a video to always make sure to gather your flowers like, I only sold, like, one, but as you can see, I have been gathering a lot of flowers. So. Let's see what we have here. A dye maker, so it converts flowers into dye. Okay, so I could start doing dyes. And this is a cloth maker. Converts yarn into cloth. Okay, but so first what we would need is the yarn maker. So let's see what it says about the yarn. So you have to insert a tuft of wool or fur. So I have that. That's wool. And that's wool. So let's see. Now we can go ahead and start uh, doing things. Now that I got my animals all taken care of. So 
So we will come down here. Okay, so that is going to make woolen yarn. So that's going to take about four hours. And thread, I think, takes grass. Then we have this and cloth. I have to make more of these too. I sort of wish I could fill the lake up now. I really regret that happening. So it's probably going to take a while. I thought maybe I could get rid of that, that lake, but it comes to find out you can't. I did get the treasure out of it, but yeah, as you can see, and you can't even climb down here. But yeah, you cannot uh, get rid of that giant anic hole. So I guess basically we are stuck with this big lake. But the neat thing is, I think I can fish from it. This will be the, I still am trying to figure out what I can do with this area. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Now I'm a little bit I'm a little bit out of practice okay there we go then I have to stop got one. Oh, look at that I got me a crayfish nice okay so yeah i can actually uh take oh what's this oh it's a gray rabbit oh interesting they the rabbits changed and i guess i can't wait a minute can i fish here I thought I saw a spot. Nope, I guess we can't fish there. So I got to figure out what all I'm going to be doing in this area. After I clear some of it out, I don't know. There's a, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I missed a goat. Hopefully, um, there's another bamboo shoot. Okay. So I got to start collecting them. Um, I am trying to figure out, like, I don't know what I'm going to do with these areas here. We'll just have to figure it out. But anyhow, this is going to conclude my episode today for Story of Seasons. So please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell for more videos. And until next time, bye-bye.